Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we are going to see how hot the Mr. Volcano Forge can actually get. How hot will it get realistically in there? So right now I've got it where it's come up to a nice even temperature and fairly stable. Uh, so it's been heating up for just a little bit, about 10, 15 minutes for me to get all the cameras set up here. So as you can see, I've got an infrared thermometer right here. Uh, a new one that I just bought in here just recently and we're going to be using it we're going to be using it as well as a k-type thermometer uh, hooked up to my field piece that I have inserted into the back of the forge as well to get the difference in the temperatures now I have this pointed at the bottom of the forge and I've got it pointed at the very bottom of the forge and and I've got the other one kind of more towards the top end of the forge. So there may be some temperature discrepancy, but that's what we'll find out here. So without further ado, let's see how hot this thing can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on it here. We're gonna get a baseline temperature. It looks like we are about 1700 on this one. Anyhow, we're about 1730 let's say 1740 degrees let's call it a right about there 1740 degrees is where we are at on the laser thermometer or the contact list and we're, we'll check over at the other one uh, you guys will see that on screen uh, so we can compare so let's go ahead and crank this up right now I'm actually running this at I'm actually running this at about 5 PSI on the regulator. This is a 30 uh, pound regulator. I went ahead and replaced the factory hose and regulator that came with it with one that had a nice dial gauge and a stainless steel hose. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and crank this up now. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I don't know how in focus it'll be. We're gonna go ahead and crank that up to about 10 PSI. And we'll see how that goes. So as you can tell, it's, get, it's gotten a lot louder um, because of that air turbulence and that pressure getting in there. We're gonna wait for that to come up to temp just a little bit, and then we will uh, see how it's climbed. But let's go ahead and look at the infrared real quick while we're at, remember, we had 1700 before, we had 1747. Now we've got a quick temp. It's starting to climb, as you can see, we're about 1900 degrees. And this is in Fahrenheit, by the way. I'll try to post Celsius on the screen for you to read. So there we are. As you can see, it's climbing right up there. So now we just peaked over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll let that sit and let it keep coming up a little bit. Now what I may end up having to do is I may end up have to move this back. Um, this is a plastic <laughs> infrared thermometer. They say to be about 20 inches away it is about how you want it to be. Um, that's the that's where this would like it to be at for the most accurate ratings. Um, but I may have to back it up as this puts out more and more heat out the front end of it. But let's go ahead and check it one more time. Now again, this is only at 10 PSI. So let's check it again. Our high temp was 2000. Might have just bumped it a little bit there. Yeah, I bumped it just to fuzz. That's its problem. There we go. Got to make sure I don't bump the thermometer. It's kind of sensitive where it's pointing at. So we're still right around that 1900 to 2000 range on this thermometer anyhow. So I have to see. Let me move it a little bit. There, that's further back in the forge where it was originally pointing. I'll try not to bump this thing. So we're climbing up closer to that 2100 degrees right now, which is pretty darn good. Which is pretty darn good, only at 10 PSI. So I'm gonna have to move this back. This is gonna affect my ratings just a little bit, but it is warm. It is warm as all get out. Let me adjust this a little bit and we'll get another reading. Hopefully it'll still get close to the same. I can aim it at the same spot, hopefully. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we are. We're about 
now we're up to about 22 to 2300 degrees Fahrenheit according to this laser thermometer. I don't know how the other one's doing. I don't know how accurate it is in comparison. Uh, it, the manual uh, K-type thermostat is probably going to be way more accurate than this thing, um, but we'll see how, by how much. So there you go. That's about 2200 degrees. It's climbing a little bit, but it's kind of fluttering right there at that temperature of, uh, you, you know, of, or the pressure, I should say, right at about 10 PSI on the tank. Um, so, and again, I haven't changed anything. I haven't opened up the air damper or not. Uh, I'm just dumping more gas in, um, in you, you know, more gas pressure into the actual burner. So the oxygen staying the same. Well, let's go ahead and turn this thing up a bit more. We're gonna take it up here to where the old regulator would have topped out at. We're gonna take it all the way up to 20 PSI. So the old regulator, the one that comes with them standard, tops out at 20 PSI uh, G there. So we'll see how this actually works. As you can see, it is a lot, lot louder, lot, lot louder. Um, and we'll give it a second to come up to temp there. And then we'll get, an, we'll get another good view on it there. So as you can see, it's getting a lot, lot hotter now, and it's a lot, lot louder. So we'll go ahead and see where this is at here in just a second. There's also something that you need to keep in mind. Since I'm trying to keep this video short, I'm not putting in soak time. So it needs time to soak and really get the whole forge up to temperature. So we're just trying to see how fast it can get up to a particular temperature roughly at its hottest areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to thermostat this now. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what we've got going on here. So I'm reading 2100 there. I gotta see where this light's at. I thought by putting on the stand it might help me out, but I don't know. I got 2400 there for a second. There you go, we're 24 something another. Not quite up there yet to 2,500. But that's about all, but that's about what we can expect from this. I'll be real interested in seeing what the other temperature is from the other thermostat. So we got 2479 as our high there. Um, and again, I may need to readjust this to get this in a little bit closer to get a bit more accurate from to where it's at. I imagine there is a big temperature difference. Let me try to re-aim this into the hot spot of the forge. We're getting up. Let's see here, 2488. 2486, 2490. Pretty sure we're probably right around that 2500 range. Or better. All right, so there you go. Um, I got a temperature reading on the laser thermometer, again, a little bit further away than what I would have liked it to have been. I got a temperature rating of about 2,490 degrees. It'll be interesting to see what that, uh, the thermocouple st style uh, thermometer that I have stuck in the back is reading uh, in contrary to that. And that will be the actual uh, temperature that we got up to. Let me walk around real quick and I will actually go take a look at it. So I can see what you guys are saying. So right now where that's sitting at, it looks like 2,160 or so. 2,160 plus. And it is quite hot. I can see the glow in there. It's definitely taking the heat. Here's a good chance to show you guys my setup. 
coming right over to my field piece. It's doing pretty good. So there you have it. That's reading at the back of the temperature, about midway up in the forge, almost at the top. It's reading uh, just over 2,000 degrees at that, at that temperature. I got a reading where I was pointing down at the fire brick down here, a max temperature of 2495 is what I got on this thermometer here. So realistically, you can expect, you can expect at my current conditions, to push about 2,500 degrees out of this forge, and that ain't too shabby. It really isn't too bad for a gas forge to hit 2,500 degrees. Now, what that does mean, though, is when you go to take a put fire brick in this forge, you need to make sure that you use above 2,500 degree fire brick, say 2,600 degree and up fire brick in order to be on the safe side when you go get another fire brick for this gas forge at some point in time in your life. Uh, just so this way, it doesn't end up melting. The, the bricks that I got at the back of the forge, they're actually like what you would use for a wood stove. And that wood stove brick is only rated to about 2000 degrees. Uh, so they will melt quite readily at 500 degrees over. So that's it for today. I answered that question for you. Hopefully I've answered that question for you, how hot this thing gets. If you haven't seen the video on where we forge welded in this, yes, it gets hot enough to actually forge weld in this gas forge. Be sure to check that up out. That'll be linked in the description. I will have a lot of other videos as well. If you're looking for the review on this or the Amazon affiliate links, they're all down in the description down below. Be sure to check those out. And uh, thank you to all the channel members that make this content possible. God bless each and every last one of you. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.